What is going on, Wet Shaving Community and YouTube? This is Bill, and you are watching the Wet Shaving Savage. So, I've got a new product for you today. It's one of the newest lines from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and that product is Irish Springs. Now, I'm not obviously do not have to tell you what this is a play on. That being said, though, I'm gonna go ahead, open this up real quick, get a little smell profile. I think you'll be a little surprised, actually. I think it's so cool. Also, you see, it's actually got a little tint of green in there too. Very St. Patty's Day, very festive. I like it a lot. So this one, not gonna lie, this smells absolutely nothing like the current rendition of uh, Irish Spring. This one, you get lavender, you get pine, you get a lot of citrusy notes, a little bit of bergamot, and I happen to have a box of original Irish Spring right here with me, actually. And I mean, that one, you get a a little bit of citrus, mainly that old school, you know, palm olive scent, that old school palm olive deodorant scent. So, what I'm thinking is Douglas Smythe, uh, he replicated the original Old Spice version because uh, I know, not Old Spice, Irish Spring, sorry, wow, long day already. And I know Irish Spring, uh, I kind of revamped their scent and changed the scent entirely actually in 1986. Now, Obviously, I had to kind of research that because I'm a 90s baby. I wasn't born in 1986, so if anyone out there is a little older than me remembers this smell, please tell me if I kind of nailed that one a little bit because I know this smells absolutely nothing like the current rendition of Old Spot of uh, Irish Spring. Wow, I cannot talk today right now. I'm sorry. Irish Spring, Irish Spring, Irish Spring. There we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let this bloom a little bit, get some hot water on there. For my razor today, my wife actually was awesome enough to buy me a new King C Gillette. I know it's not new to the market, but it is new to me. The King C Gillette Double Edge Safety Razor. So I'm going to actually first use on this. Man, that is, excuse me, that is a hefty razor. Like, it's got some, pardon my name, this thing is a girth certificate, though. It's got some, it's a girthy boy. Sorry, military humor. Might get in trouble for that one later. So this is a, for those of you who've never seen this before, never seen this in your local Walmart, Walgreens, anything like that, this is a three-piece razor. And not 100% certain on the material of it, but I can definitely tell you it is chrome. Uh, there's no markings, really. There's a product number, maybe a date code right here, G2, not sure what that means. I know after watching other videos of this, the handle and the head are both made in separate areas. I will actually uh, figure that out and include that in this video. And uh, I'm also going to try the King C Gillette blades with it because everyone is raving about how good these blades actually are with the product. I know, uh, uh, God, wow, I'm drawing blanks today. I don't know why people, I'm sorry. The videos already turned out to be kind of a bust, but let's see if I can spice up a little little humor later on. Yost of Coast, he actually admitted he prefers these blades. He loves these blades. It came with five of them, so I like that knurling too right there. That diagonal knurling, it's not, I wouldn't even really so much call it a knurling as it is just a, like a grip pattern. I know some of you probably think, well, what's the difference, knurling, grip pattern? Uh, when I think knurling, I think of something like on my barbell, like a cross diamond knurling. That's what I think of when I think of knurling. All right, for the brush today, I'm going to go ahead and use my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Solar Flare. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let that just get in a little bit of water. If anyone's wondering what kind of bowl this is, this is uh, here's like a little salsa bowl to give out at Mexican restaurants. Uh, I guess I took one home one night. Don't judge me. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my face wet real quick. I will be right back. synthetic brushes. I don't let them soak too long because I know they, they already retain a good bit of water as it is. So go ahead and uh, start mixing this bad boy up. Drain a little bit of that last little residual out. Ooh, yeah. 
that is going to be really good. I mean, it's not a super soapy lather. It might actually have just a tiny bit of water to get a little on the soapier side. But I've noticed uh, with the CK6 formulas, this is the CK6 formula, that it doesn't explode into the lather, explode into a lather the second you put it in there like that. And you can see now it's starting to get a good lather going. Some kind of chaos going on back in my house right now. This is actually an afternoon shake for me. I had to wake up a little early, take my kids to the doctors. There we go. Had a little too much water, but luckily it didn't quite take to the soap yet, so I was able to just drain it. Anyway, take my kids to the doctors. My son turned two in February, so see now I'm getting a little bit of modern uh, modern Irish Spring scent. Not much though. It's very herbal, very piney, very citrusy too. I'm really digging this. And obviously lavender. I'm a nut for lavender. I have very soon plan on ordering some uh, lavender shakes up just because I love it so much. I don't know why. I've always loved lavender ever since I was a kid. And as with any PA, I never have a problem building up a really good lather. Anyway, back to my kids. Uh, my son had to get two shots today and as if he wasn't already a mama's boy as it is, he definitely turned mama's boy in this one. I'm, he is still mad at me right now. Giving me the stink eye and everything. And my, uh, my oldest, she absolutely loves her brother to death and hates when he cries. And she was inconsolable in that daughter's office for a second. She didn't even get anything done. She was just so sad at how he was acting. Makes me feel good that knowing I got, I got an older daughter that cares so much about her younger siblings. And the newborn, well, she's four months today, actually. She did not have, she only had to get two shots. I don't remember which ones they were. I think Hep A and another one. And she actually handled it pretty well. Because I know most newborns, they feel one needle and they lose their minds. And the second one, she just continues that. The second, first one, she just kind of was like, mm, what are you doing to me? Second one, that's when she's like, okay, now I'm going to cry. All right, I got an amazing lather built up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this started. Let me get my face. Wet one more time here. If anyone didn't notice, I also uh, on the shave soap, I also had the hollow foil labeling on it, which means I got one of the first, I think, 50, which means maybe I followed them a little too closely. That is just the kind of lather I like. It's slick, real creamy. Really, really dig a lather like this. That's I went to do a shave the other day. I didn't film it, but uh, I just was having a hard time lathering. Just it was my fault, of course, because I know this. I know the soap that I was using is uh, more than capable of building an amazing lather, which is I was not. Let's see how this is going to hold up with wet fingers because uh, this pattern right here could prove twist problematic, but we're going to find out. I mean, you're probably going to hear a lot more stubble being cut down this time because normally I shave as soon as I wake up, but this time it was wake up. Get my fat burner in my system because the caffeine really fires me up and it also helps me, you know, fight this dad bod going on right now with the quarantine dad bod or the quarantine 25, some people have been calling it. It gives me a really good burst of energy, no crashes or anything like that. I'm not trying to hustle my supplement brand that sponsors me here. I'm just letting you guys know if anyone's interested, I will let you know what brand 
generally I try to keep my personal Instagram for my fitness stuff and I'm thinking I might start an Instagram for just my shaving stuff. I know some people who shave just, you know, aren't into fitness as hardcore as I am. Just, you know, wake up every morning and feel sore from the night before. Right now, my chest feels absolutely inflated from a uh, upper body workout I did last night. So did my arms. So surprisingly, this material right here is a lot better than I thought it would be. Like it's. I'm not even really gripping it that hard either, just it's surprisingly I really dig the, the pattern right there. Again, I'm not calling it gnarling because to me that maybe maybe I'm just kind of weird, but that does not scream gnarling to me. Alright, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with a uh, second lather. I know I should uh, wet my face between lathers, but a little pressed for time now because i got to get back to work. We actually have uh, some new soldiers arriving today, and for anyone here who is ever in the military, knows just how much drill sergeants we love when new soldiers come in. If anyone is confused by what I mean by that, just Google day zero basic training. Even though I'm AIT, we still treat it like it's basic because, like I said, you know, if you're in the military, you know how it is. You get out of basic, you know, for our, my language, we think you're a little Billy Badass because you know how to shoot. They might have taught you a few, you know, unarmed combat moves and you think you're quite a little BAMF. You don't know what BAMF means. I'm not going to say it on camera, but look it up. A little thick lather this time, but it'll work. That razor is actually surprisingly cutting through it very well. Alright. But, uh, you yeah, know, we got a... You know, we do the same thing that ba the basic training drills do. We set that tone. We establish the dominance. Because we get there, if they get there, and we're all nice to them and everything, straight up, they're, they're just going to walk around all over us. I can't be having that. As far as I'm concerned, like we always tell them when they get in there, and they got this little sense of, like, I don't know, this weird sense of, like, uh, that they're suddenly... Like the greatest thing in the world, especially in my job, which is helicopter mechanics specifically, I am actually an attack helicopter mechanic, but I am a drill sergeant for uh, the Blackhawk mechanics. They wouldn't put me with the other Apache mechanics, you know, conflict of interest. I couldn't be nicer than American. I understand that. But, like we always tell them, the second they get there and they're acting all foolish and everything like there's some like there's something or another like they're the you know the bees knees in there all you gotta do is remind them of something and again part of my language for this look at them tell them to shut the hell up position of attention you will not talk and wipe that stupid smirk off your face because the only thing you've done right so far is make a bowl of cereal and take a shit other than that you ain't done nothing and Say that's aggressive all you want to, but I'm not exactly there to be the friend. I'm there to lead them and train them. And then, you know, we shake them down, have our fun with them. You know. Not that we haven't been through though. That's something a lot of people fail to understand. People sit there and say, oh, we're being aggressive on them and everything like that. Hey, look, we went through the exact same thing, if not worse. I went through basic training. 11 years ago, uh, Monday will actually be my 11 year anniversary in the military. So, oddly enough, same day my uh, my daughter was born. The day she was being born, I was raising my I was in boots on ground at Fort Jackson, getting my head ripped off. But uh, all right, third pass. Hopefully, final pass. This razor is amazing. I love it. But. Like I said, I'm not, be the, I'm not there to be their friend. I'm there to lead them. And some of them sit there and say, well, I'm stressed, I'm stressed, and everything. And they sit there and say, oh, you need to, you know, you know, not make them so stressed out. Um, I'm pretty sure someone who's trying to kill them in combat is not going to stop stressing them out just because they are feeling a little stressed out. I mean, I know the generation before me 
will say that my generation is soft compared to theirs. And given that my generation before me was, you know, Desert Storm, uh, the initial Iraq surge, the Afghan surge, yeah, I am soft compared to them. But this new generation of soldiers coming in now, whoo, some of them, I'm not saying all of them, some of them are, they are something else, something else, something tells me that mom and dad clearly let them latch on a little too long there. And nothing against the parents, you know, I understand parents. I'm a, Being a parent myself, I definitely tend to spoil the ever-loving crap out of my children. At the same time, though, some of these kids nowadays, I feel like they just didn't take to a lot of what their parents tried to teach, and now we're having to fix it. We're having to give them that wake-up call. Oh, it is Friday, everyone. You know what that means? Well, whatever you do on Friday, that's what it means. <laughs> now, Fridays are a good day for me because one, you know, we get these new soldiers in, gives me a chance to kind of uh, get my stress release out for the week, and also that's a family movie night. I'm not sure what we're watching tonight. We already watched Tom and Jerry. I know, uh, really looking forward to a uh, Godzilla versus Kong. That's what we're looking forward to. We still gotta wait a little bit longer for that one. Wife and daughter have been on a uh, Harry Potter kick, and I love Harry Potter and everything like that, but I can't. I can't do a marathon. The only marathon I really can do is Star Wars, because that's, you know, that's how I am. I don't know, how, I don't know why I'm like that. Oh, Star Wars, they love Harry Potter, so, and they can't sit through a, Harry, a Star Wars marathon like I can. Also, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys something happened at work the other day, so. These uh, soldiers, right, most of them are, you know, they're the kind of a soldier, you know, they got to shave every day in accordance with DA Pam and AR-670-1, you know, wearing appearance in a military uniform. And uh, unless you have a religious accommodation or, a, you know, a medical evaluation that says you can't shave due to, you know, tremendously ingrown hairs. Get a little bit right there, a little bit more. You have to shave every day. And most of them are, you know, cartridge disposable guys. However, one, one of our new guys, I guess he wasn't explained the standard very well, which, you know, it's easy. I might have nicked myself there. Oh, yeah, little weeper, little, little cut. It's all right. Got that one heel quick. I'll just in the middle of my chin where I don't grow that much hair, so. But anyway, the soldier ordered a safety razor on Amazon. It was a, uh, I can't remember the brand. I think it was a Japanese safety razor. Just lather the neck real quick. It's a little bit right there still. Mustache went down easy. Well, if you want to call it a mustache, that was kind of sad. But uh, he ordered a safety razor and he was so excited when I opened his, when he opened his package, we have to check all their packages you know, to make sure they're not bringing anything they're not supposed to have, because they're not even allowed to, they're not allowed to smoke while they're there, even though we all smoke. I mean, it's, we're trying to get it to where they can, if they want to, because we are allowed to, and we choose to do so, but if you don't smoke, please don't start. It's a nasty habit. I don't worry. Man. But, uh, he ordered this safety, wow, I'm just missing that spot. He ordered a safety razor, came with blades, he was so excited. And I looked at it and I said, all right, you know what we got to do with that, right? He said, oh, I'm going to put it in my, my little high dollar value inventory sheet. You know, that way somebody steals it, I get it back. I said, no, soldier, I got to put that in the contraband locker. You can't have that here. And his face, like, I, I felt for this poor soldier. Because I know, even he was like, I mean, I got to go back to cartridge razors. And I was like, unfortunately. Look, I don't like the idea either of you guys having to use cartridges that are not good for your skin. And it was the day before yesterday, and he came down last night, and oh, I could tell that cartridge did not treat him well. So I uh, made some rec made some recommendations to him, told him to get like a best I could do that he's allowed to have is a 
single blade disposable or single blade cartridge. It's not the best, but it'll do the job. Then I sent him, uh, told him to, you know, pull out a pen and paper, you know, because they should always have that. He did. And uh, said, hey, here's what you got to do. Go to West Coast Shaving. Go to Fine Accoutrements. Go to Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Check out Mammoth's, uh, House of Mammoth Soap Company, Sterling, Ariana Evans, all of them. And then uh, he came down before I left. He showed me this gigantic order he'd made through Phoenix, West Coast. He showed me, uh, what do you think of all these, Drill Sergeant? And, you know, he picked some really good ones. He'd be like, well, I never tried before. So, really glad that he was still able to, he's going to be still able to enjoy his shave to a point. He even ordered a, uh, ordered a Simpson brush. A little bit right there. It, like I said, it hurt my soul to have to take that from him because I, I haven't shaved, I haven't cartridge shaved, I think, in about five years now. And, uh. There's a reason I don't cartridge shave anymore, because it's it's just bad for me. All right. Sorry. I don't know why the water is running. All right, I'm going to go uh, rinse this off real quick. Hit with warm, then cold. Warm to get the, the resi residual soap off, then cold. Hopefully seal this little weeper up, too. All right. I'll be right back. no matter where I go. Man, that was a... Call this fanboy all you want to, but uh, I have yet to ever have a single problem with anything Phoenix has ever put out. I, I always use their uh, the prismatic blade, but... Yeah. And the wife out of nowhere surprised me last night with this blade and I gotta say if anyone's on the fence about this one you know because oh you can find it at Walgreens it can't be that good yeah well where'd they sell this stuff at before drugstores stuff like that supermarkets now uh, do I and uh, I know they have a whole line of the King C Gillette now do I think Gillette's gonna get back into and then they have the Gillette Heritage the Amazon exclusive which one day that's a one day kind of thing that's a one day goal Clean up my brush right now. I'm sorry, everyone. Meticulous process to clean my brush. I very much loaded this thing very amazingly. You know, little trick I learned from uh, Cut of. I can't remember his name. Cut above or something like that. And uh, yeah, so I'm doing this one day. He was doing this and it works. Well, he makes his look prettier than mine. He makes his look way prettier than mine. <laughs> right. That weeper does not want to stop. What is that chin? Oh, it's right there. Anyone else have bad problems getting their chin really good right there? Right there. I don't know why. Always right there. Alright. For the aftershave, we are going to be using the exact same one. And what I think is really cool about this aftershave, is if you look at it closely, you can see a green tint. There, there, Douglas Smythe was clearly, clearly knew what he was doing, embracing a St. Patrick's Day theme. And me as, you know, with my Irish heritage that I have and everything, makes me happy. Because I feel like, late, the last couple of years in America, maybe it's just me, but if you're not in Boston, which one day I do want to travel to Boston, just to experience a St. Patty's Day experience up there because I know, especially when I was in like when I was uh, stationed in El Paso, Fort Bliss, really didn't celebrate you know St. Patrick's Day that much out there. You know, it's a not a predominantly Irish community out there. You know, that's just how it is. They say predominantly, you know. You know, outside of, you know, the the kind of melting pot, as we call the military, the melting pot of, uh, you know, backgrounds and everything in there, it's predominantly a Hispanic area. It's not, you know, it's not racist saying that or anything like that. That's how it is. So, 
You can imagine though. Ooh, Cinco de Mayo's out there though. Oh my goodness, they were. Before COVID went, before COVID went and ruined everything, Cinco de Mayo's out in El Paso were absolutely insane. I, oh my goodness, they were out of this world. Kind of like how I imagine Boston is when they do their St. Patrick's Day celebrations, the parades and everything like that. Wow, there's a weaver right there. I'm sorry, but I'm not meaning to be a bloody mess this morning or this afternoon. Ooh, yeah, that burn on the neck though. My neck did not get any irritation. That. The mix of soap and that razor. That razor will probably be a date like a, in a regular rotation now. It's just so. I, I was it, 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 I was not expecting this one to kind of perform the way it did. Because you know I I kind of don't like to watch too many reviews. That way I have my own opinion of the product. And this one. I figured it would be decent at least, you know, but uh, I did not expect this. This is absolutely it's exceeded, surpassed all my standards. All right, but uh, we're going to wrap this up now. That was absolutely wonderful shave. Eventually, I'm going to stop going over 20 minutes on these videos, but that was an absolutely wonderful shave. Uh, I know everyone, uh, everyone who watches this, I want to thank you for watching this. Anyone who subscribes, I want to thank you all for subscribing. Uh, if you are interested in what I'm putting out, if you want to, you know, give me some, you know, give me some suggestions, complain about something I did, you know, constructive criticism, preferably. You know, don't be on here to be mean. And do not get on here and try to send me some OnlyFans link or something like that. I had a comment on my video last week. It was like an OnlyFans link. That's to me. That's just, this is a desperate plea right there. I don't even know. Uh, yeah, but if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, I'm gonna keep putting these videos out like this, uh, alright, so, like I said, today is Friday, everyone, enjoy your weekend, here is, uh, yeah, you know I got nothing for that right there, <laughs> uh, other than that, everyone, enjoy your weekend, have some fun this weekend, get out, go do something, don't be cooped up in your house all day long. And other than that, this is the White Shaving Savage signing off for everyone. Happy Friday.